this is the last time. All right, so hey guys, this is me, 80s from Full 4. Today, guys, we're discuss about the Wales national team and with a special friend named CW. So, CW, take it away, man. Um, yes, it really is incredible that England have no, that Wales have qualified for the first time since 1958. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, um. No, the, it, the statistic is crazy, but the fact that it's happened really isn't. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, did you ex? I mean, did you expect um you uh, um Wales to qualify for the World Cup at the very beginning of the World Cup qualifiers? Um, probably not. But I'm not surprised it happens by the end. Yeah. That, that's very true because, like, I'm looking at the playoffs. You guys, I think there was like Austria was in the playoffs. Um. The yeah. Wales. Then I think you had um obviously Ukraine and then I think um what was it Scotland that? Scotland so Scotland yeah you you could probably yeah. say that uh Wales is probably the strongest team in that group Scotland. yeah by far yeah maybe Austria is kind of debatable um, yeah Austria was always beat above yeah but I think the the fact that you guys had the games at home I think really helped you guys a lot yes it did you know um. And that kind of thing, um, but, but as I said, as you said, man, it's inc- it, it, you're um, it like it it does look surprising, but it really shouldn't be surprising. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Yeah, I I kind of understand because I'm looking at those Wales team, and this Wales team is actually pretty solid. Um, people just think it's a uh, just a team just with Gareth Bale and everyone else is average, which is not the case. Yeah. Um, there's actually some other good players. That's not the case. You know, and that could yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's just crazy, man, to see how you guys have finally done it, you know, at this stage. So, looking at the group that yeah. Wales got in the World Cup, you have, um, obviously, England, Iran, and the USA. So, what's your thoughts on yeah. that? Well, England is probably beatable because of their form right now. Lost twice against Hungary, including one 4 nil complete demolishment. Yeah, um, that is true. But remember, the World Cup is going to take place in um, like in November. That happened in June, so um, you know England can definitely change their form by then time. You know, I don't rate the chances of that likely though, because of such limited time and limited games. Yeah, be able to actually play. Yeah, I mean, like, like, like I said, England definitely is going to be the. I mean, likelihood all all the nations, likelihood England um, is a nation that whichever nation gets a good result against England will probably get that second place spot. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's interesting. Well, but um, uh, and then obviously you know you, you I think you know, Wales know England the most of all nations in this group because you guys are obviously close rivals. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then obviously your 2016 probably still lingers in your mind. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what about um, what about the USA and Iran? Um, you can give your quick thoughts on those two nations, I suppose. The USA. Well, I'm really not sure what to say about the USA. Really, they've just been all over the place. So they might be beatable. They might not be. Iran probably beatable because, well, the last time they actually had an an, effic- an efficient result was. A year ago, when they beat Bahrain three 0 which is saying something. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't write off Iran completely because they put a really good test in the previous World Cups, you know, against Spain and Portugal, and even against Argentina as well. So, this is not, this is a nation that, while they, you probably can't beat them, is a nation they're gonna have to work hard for your win. You can't just like just turn up and just you have to work very hard. I would say. Yeah. But it's not going to be hard. Yeah. We just need to get things right. Yeah. So let me look at the schedule. So for you know Wales. So obviously, I think you guys have um, USA first, which is interesting. And obviously, you know, I'm actually from the yeah. USA, so <laughs> you know, I can give you, I can give you more thoughts on that game. And then obviously, I'm, I think you guys play um, Iran second, and I think you guys have England last. So that's actually yeah, pretty, correct. Yeah, that's a pretty good schedule. Do you are you happy with that schedule? Yes. 
I don't think it could have gotten any better within those three opponents. Except maybe around fifth. Yeah, you. I, I, I suppose you have the easiest game in the group probably last. Um, uh, you know, not going to lose soon. Uh, so it's going to yeah. be interesting to see how Robert Page does in this yeah. World Cup because obviously I think the expectation for Wales is just um, they're just glad to be there. But obviously, you know, you want to get to round 16, you know. That kind of yeah, thing. it's not that we're just glad to be there. We want more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, like, I feel like most Wales fans are happy that they're there. Obviously, I, I know many of you guys, will, I know some of you guys do want to get to round 16. I'm not saying you guys don't, but I think this is already... This is already great. This is already a great achievement, you know. Obviously, you could do it even better yeah. if I reach around to sixteen, you know. Um, and then even the quarterfinals. Yeah. Which, as well, funnily enough, I have us going out in the hands of Denmark. Yeah. So yeah. Although but, I really don't want to lose to Denmark for the what hundredth time in the last in the most recent years. Yeah. So. Yeah, Denmark, man, a nation that um, everyone's keeping their eye upon as potential dark horse. <laughs> so, um, yeah, what's your thoughts? Yeah. So, so do you, <laughs> yeah. So, do you think uh, Wales can get? Uh, what's your expectations for Wales in this group? Um, third, fourth, second, first. Um, I actually think we can win this group, honestly, mainly because well, none of the other three teams are in great form right now. Yeah. That would be incredible. Let me just say that right now. If Wales top this group, that would be insane. Absolutely insane. Yep. And I believe you guys are the lowest ranked nations and uh, the lowest ranked nation in this pod, I think. So, which would even be more incredible. Uh, no, we're not the lowest ranked nation in this group. Oh, yeah, yeah no, sorry. Iran. No, I mean, like, the, you were in pod four for this group. That's what I meant. Yes, but. We would have technically been in pot three if the playoffs hadn't been delayed. So that doesn't really count yeah. as such. Yeah, yeah, I don't really, I don't think it was fair that the FIFA did the playoffs um, after the draw, which was kind of stupid in my opinion. They should have done the, they, they should have done the draw after yeah. the playoffs. It was really stupid on their part, but it is what it is. You know, FIFA, they always make weird decisions, so we can't really do anything about it. But um, regardless, as I said... Um, or, they, or they could have just put the UEFA playoffs in pot three. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I just don't think it's fair. Yeah, you guys, yeah. you guys, you guys got, uh, you guys got ruined. It, it made the chances for you guys worse. But you know, I think, it's, like, as you said, this is a, I think this is a manageable group for Wales. I don't think this is a group that Wales can really complain too much about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, are you happy with this group? It's not. Yeah. Okay, that's good to hear. So yeah, I mean. As I, as, as I said, I think it's going to be very competitive. This is group, a group that I think will be one of the most competitive in the World Cup. There, there, this was a group that I don't even... This is a group that the Mardens will be very tight. And there could be a lot of final day drama. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. You know? And I just think that for this group in particular, it's going to be interesting to see... Uh, what what's this doing? Wait, what? Oh, I, 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 yeah. think, it, I think it's going to be interesting. Which yeah, I agree. Is, which nation gets a second place? Because for me, I think yeah. England. I think England is heads and shoulders above the rest. I think they're the best nation in this group, just by squad and by their team. Let's be real; they should top this group, right? Um, probably, but if they don't, but part of me is telling me they don't even get out the groups. They don't get out this group. That's what part of me is telling me. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I know. We I know. We love to make fun. And we, we like to make jokes and all. But let's be real. And all the seriousness is, let's just say this. At least by paper, England should top this group. Yeah. Now will by they? Paper, now will they? Uh, we have no idea. You know, England's very unpredictable. As you said, they can go out of the group stage. Like we've seen it. I think 2014 World Cup. They went out of the group. They finished bottom of the group in a very. Yeah. Um, and I know it was a group of death, but still, like, they could have done better in that group, you know? Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, like, like it's going to be battle for the second place spot between USA, England, and Iran. And I feel like all three of these nations are kind of on the same level. I don't think any of them are, like, heads and shoulders above the rest, if that makes any sense. I feel like all of them are, like, on a similar level. Yeah. Like, so that's the thing that makes this group really yeah. interesting. And I, I wouldn't be surprised this group comes down to fair play. I mean, we saw in the last World Cup, uh, Senegal and Japan, 
Um, they had to go through the fair play, and we we know Japan benefited from it. So it could happen like again in this yeah. group, which would be really sad, you know. Mm. So yeah, I mean, um, so I so what you, so you have England, um, you have Den- Wales top in the group in your predictions, right? Yeah. Okay. So Wales do top the group. They'll play the Group C. No, no, sorry. They'll play the Group, group A. Runner, group A runner-up. So that is likely to be, in my opinion, Senegal. So that'd be Wales. Or Ecuador. Senegal. Yeah, or Ecuador. Uh, maybe even Qatar. I think it's going to be Ecuador. Yeah, I'm going to go with Senegal That for my thing, if I get early predictions. And then so if Wales versus Senegal, I'd probably fancy Wales in that matchup. That would be a good matchup, though. That would be close, I would say. I think that's um, 50-50. Yeah. Um, and then let's see. So Wales do win that. And then I think in the quarterfinals, you guys will then play against a Group D winner, uh, which is likely to be either Denmark or France. And um, as you said, yeah. right now I'm giving the edge to Denmark. So, so that means assuming that Denmark do get past Mexico, because let's be real, they should, or Poland, whatever. Then um, we have a, a Wales versus Denmark, and unfortunately, I would have to back Denmark in that game. Yeah, same. So, yeah, so I mean, I think our quarterfinals would be a really, really uh, good uh, expectation, uh, good, uh, it would be a great achievement. Although I do feel that's a bit too optimistic uh, from your part. Um, yeah. But, um, so let's go ahead and say, let's do another scenario where they come second in the group. So if they do come second in the group, they'll play against uh, um, the winner of Group A, which is Netherlands, and... Uh, you know, actually, Netherlands versus Wales is a close game, and we saw in the uh, the, um, the Nations League. But obviously, I don't want to look at the Nations League too much because I don't think you guys really care about the Nations League. Season anyway, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, am I right in saying that uh, Wales don't really care about the Nations League because you guys are really qualified for World Cup? We will care in September, but we've. Had less interest in the Nations League, if that makes sense, because we were more fixated on qualifying for the World Cup. Yeah. And the fact we had five games in the same schedule really didn't help it there. Yeah, the schedule, man. The schedule is messed up, man, with the Nations League and it's everything like that. But um, so like, what if a match did happen against Netherlands versus Wales? How do you think? Do you think that'd be? A good um, Netherlands would win. Oh, yeah, I, I agree. That's probably a close game. Yeah. yeah I, I think it would be a close game. I, I think Wales could beat Netherlands, but I feel like if that were to happen, we I think something spectacular would have to happen from Gareth Bale. You know? Yeah. I feel like he's that difference maker. Um, But, yeah, yeah that would be a close game. But, yeah, I would favor Netherlands on that one. So, around a 16, if you guys come second place, and I guess if you guys top the group, then um, uh, quarterfinal potentially. So... Yeah, I guess yeah. um I guess now that you discuss my expectations. So if I was a Wales fan, um uh a Welsh fan, um I would be pretty satisfied. I just want I I don't really know what to expect from Wales in this World Cup because this is a very as you said, as as you said, it's a very competitive group. You know, we don't really know what to expect. Yes, yeah, there is. So Yeah. Yeah. Let's just see how yeah. the tournament goes along. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about um let's talk about the team as a whole, the squad. So, um, who do you think will be the goalkeeper for Wales? Actually, let me just go. Danny Ward. All right. Okay, let me just go pull up my foot mob, the player squad, real quick. Uh, Danny Ward. Okay, that's good. Yeah, he's a good goalkeeper. Brown scene. Okay, let me see where's the squad. Here we go. Found the squad. Okay, so, yeah, Danny Ward. So, who do you think the backup keeper is going to be? Wayne Hennessy is who I think. Okay. And um, a third choice? Um, probably that Tom King guy that uh, Rob Page started using. Mm, all right. Yeah, I'm just looking at their um, caps. So Danny Ward, let's see how many caps he's got. He's played one match in the Premier League, um, which is interesting. He's obviously the backup for Casper Schmeichel. The Wayne Hennessy, let's see how many games he's played. Oh, he just he just joined. Wait, hold on. What? He's not played oh. any games. Sorry. Oh. Wayne Hennessy. Oh, wait, sorry. He came last year. My bad. And a free transfer. But yeah, he's not played any games for the um, Burnley team. 
Oh, he's got three games. I uh, okay, my bad. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, I remember what was it? Um, I remember you guys played against Ukraine and NSC was really good in that game. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that's interesting. Oh yeah, what formation do you think? Oh, um, Robert Page will set up for Wales. Well, was that four four two? I think it was. All right, four four two. Where the heck is that? Okay. Um. Okay. So, do you want to do A or B? So this is A and this is B. So basically, the only difference is you have CDMs and you have a um, uh, CMs. I'm pretty sure it's B that he uses, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's just go with B. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's move to this. Let's move to um. Let's do center backs, I guess now. Center backs. Um, Harry Wilson isn't he a center back? Don't judge my positions because I I'm never hundred percent sure when it comes to positions. Okay, um, let's see. Wait, who's the player you mentioned? Okay. Um, we can put. Um, I think Ben Davis will be a starter. Yeah. Yeah, he has a good chance of starting. Yeah. Let me see. Wait. Hold up. Oh, you can play two positions. Right, he's primary. He's primary as a center back. He can also play oh. back too. Interesting. Okay. So yeah. Um, he's got twenty nine matches, which is pretty good. Okay. Then the other starter I think is going to be um. This is interesting. I'm not sure about this one. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I suppose we could put um uh Joe Rodon, I suppose. Yeah, or, that or maybe um Yeah, he'll probably stop. Okay. Yeah, so that's interesting. Let's have a backups real quick. So backup players, um, I think you guys have um, obviously Ampadu. He's a backup player. Yeah, well, we need Ampadu on the starting team. I think. Oh, uh, we 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 picked um we picked two center backs though. Oh. Yeah. Should I change the mm. formation? Uh, should I change the formation like a three four three? No, keep this formation because it's a, because I'm pretty sure it's what Robert Page uses. Okay, okay. I can also take out one of the center backs if you want me to put in Potter. Uh, take out Davis for um, Padu, I okay. think. All right, so yeah, Padu is going to obviously be there, and then obviously Ben Davis will probably be alternative, and then Joe Rodon's going to start. And I'm trying to think other center backs um, you guys have. Yeah. Uh, let's see who else. Um, I think I might be it in terms of center backs. Yeah. Oh, wait, there is another guy. Um, Oliver Denham. Oh. Is he good? No. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And then uh, there's also Chris Mepem. I might be watching these names. Um, <laughs> oh, Chris Mepem probably isn't going to start. Yeah, I mean, no, these are like backup players, is what I meant. Yeah. They'll probably, like, include in the squad, but not play much. Okay, um, let's move on to left backs, I guess. Left backs. Harry Wilson, is, isn't he a left back? Harry Wilson. Wilson. Oh. Yeah. Wait, it says Cam is slash right mid. No, it is him, I think. Oh, that's Wait. weird. It says here on my uh, it says here on foot mob he's a right winger and is a central midfielder. Um Oh okay, um yeah. Put him into RM then. Okay. Yeah, okay, well yeah, let's just put him I'm just going just... by the players that come to me. All so right. Do take it with a grain of salt. Okay, okay. So let me tell you left backs that you guys have. And then you'll just tell me who should start. I got I guess that's a better way. So the left yeah. 
The primary left back, it seems like you guys have. Hold up, I think I saw it here. Who is it? Um, wait, hold up. Where's the left backs? Is there no left backs in the squad? Because every everyone I see is right backs. What? Every fullback I see is right back, which is weird. Well, that okay. is strange. Yeah. So yeah, let me see. Um, I guess we should. Sh um, let's see. Okay, Chris Gunter can also play as a left back. Okay, Chris Gunter, left back. Okay, is this still the same one? No, it's not the same one. Last him. No, that's Chris a different Gunter. Gunter, I think. Yeah, this is the one. Oh, it says here right back and center. Yeah, that's him. Okay. And then let's see the backup players. Um, I I, I guess you guys don't have any natural left backs. Um, so you have to have players yeah. play out of position. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys have uh, Connor Roberts, Nico Williams, um, and then Chris Mepham, and then um, yeah, and then right for right back position. I'm assuming yeah. you know. I'm assuming um, yeah. it's gonna probably be Connor Roberts. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the other options, as I said, Nico Williams, uh, he was not good against uh, Denmark. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to, obviously, you don't want to, probably don't want to discuss about it. <laughs> so, yeah, and then let's see, um, Chris Mepham as well, he can also play. And I think that's about it in terms of yeah. right backs. All right, so yeah. Uh, right mid, we already discussed Harry Wilson. So who do you think the backup will be for Harry Wilson? Actually, let's go. Let's talk about center CDMs. We'll do midfield first, and then we'll go to attack. CDMs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I think there's yeah. one very obvious one. Um, Aaron Ramsey, I think you'll start. Yeah. Ramsey has to start, so there is a massive problem. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Aaron Ramsey. Let me see his caps. He's got um, three caps for Juventus and Serie A, which is interesting. Remember, he came back on loan from Rangers. Um, and, yeah, he's a good player. I don't know. Who's, uh, who's going to start next to him this in midfield? Um, um, Kevin Moore. I mean, I don't really know. But he needs to be in the starting 11. Wait, it's, he's listed, it says list as a striker. Um, it probably is then. Okay, let me see. Can he play as a center Long mid? With... No, it doesn't say he can. Okay, let's see. Yeah, else... put him with Fail then. Okay. In the strikers. Okay, oh, I think I spelled it wrong. Okay, let me just put more. Um. Ugh. Okay. Uh, let's see other center mids. So you got Joe Allen. Uh, he's a free agent. Wow. Oh. Is he? Oh no no he's not a free agent. Sorry he's a he's at Stoke City. Okay. He left. Oh he just oh then, okay oh wow he's a free agent. I remember it now. Oh. Yeah, uh, then obviously um let's see who else. Dan Dan. Dylan Levet, he's also a, wow, he's he's a squad player. He's a 21 years old, very young. And then let's see. Um yeah, I think Allen will probably start. <coughs> Joe Allen, he seems to be most experienced. All right, do you think Allen will start Joe Allen? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Most experienced. So I'm looking at backup players. Obviously you got Jonathan Williams. He could probably play as an alternative. Uh, Wes Burns. Oh, never mind. He's a right mid. Uh, let's see. Joel Morel. Yeah, Joel Morel can also be. Uh, Ethan Apadu. He can also play uh, as a center mid if you don't play him as a center back. He's very versatile. Wow. He can play as a right back, center back, CDM, CM, and right mid. So he's very versatile. Um, yeah. And then obviously Sorba Thomas. Um, wow. What the heck? He can play almost any position. Wow. This is crazy. Oh, uh, Sorba Thomas. Have you heard this guy? Yeah. Wow. He needs to get on starting 11. 
Yeah, this guy looks good. Um, and then Matt Smith, he could also play, I suppose. And we got yeah. Royce, Norrington Davis. Oh, wait, sorry, that's left mid. And uh, I already mentioned him, Daniel Levitt. And Ruben Caldwell, he could play as a cam as well. So oh, maybe he's yeah. All right, so yeah, I think that's it for this. Um, let's talk about attack now. So well, let's do the wingers first. So right mid, we already got Harry Wilson. Who really could be the backup for um, Harry Wilson? I guess we already mentioned him earlier. I think Sorba Thomas, he'll, he could probably be backup. Yeah. Or maybe Ruben Caldwell could also maybe be as well. And then let's move it to left mids. Hmm. Left mids. Um... Let me see. Okay, left mid. Um. So who's on left mid then? Yeah. Um. You can. There's like some options. I see Dan James, Robbie Matundo, uh, Mark Harris. So who do you want? I guess. Um. You can even try Gareth Bale. Yeah. You can even try Gareth Bale as a winger. Dan James is who I would start there. Dan James. Yeah. Well, Dan James and Gareth Bale are my last two players. Daniel James. All right. Daniel James and obviously Gareth Bale. All right. Let's look at the um. Let's look at the uh, backup players. So obviously you got Gareth Bale, Dan James, and then you could put Robin Matendo, who plays at Schalke, that recently just got promoted to Bundesliga. And you got Mark Harris that could also play as a left winger and as a center yeah. forward. Yeah. And then Brennan Johnson as well. He's versatile as well. Can play in many positions in the forward areas. Oh. Yeah, plays a naughty at Forest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's good. So, um, yeah, this team looks good, man. A 4 4 2. A lot of um, players to support. Obviously, for Gareth Bale, it's going to be interesting to see how the supporting cast helps. Like Kiefer Moore, Dan James, Harry Wilson. Allen, Ramsey, these players are going to have to step up. And the Wales defense, I, I don't think people t talk about this too much, but Wales defense is actually really solid. It's actually really, really solid in my opinion. Yeah. Let me see how many goals you guys can see in the qualifiers because you guys, I don't think you guys can see them any goals. Let me see. Uh, World Cup qualifiers, yeah, Wales conceded. Um, was it four goals? Wales no, conceded. Wales conceded Six. nine goals in eight games. That's actually pretty solid. That's actually decent. So, oh, yeah. That's decent. And obviously, the playoffs, you guys only conceded one goal, which was against Austria, I think. So, yeah, I mean, this is great, man. This is amazing, you guys. And you guys also play really well in the qualifiers. You only lost one game in the qualifiers, which is you know, yeah. against Belgium. Yeah. And, you know, Belgium, obviously, um, they're obviously too good. So, yeah, it's crazy, man. So, yeah, um, do you have any, um, so yeah, let's talk about uh, pros and cons real quick in this team, and then we'll um, get your final remarks, and we'll head out of here. So what's the pros with this team, would you say? Well, really, the, the lack of being able to score goals efficiently. Yeah, I think that's kind of like one of the biggest cons. Like, I feel like if Gareth Bale doesn't really step up, like, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to, like, it's kind of hard to see who else is going to score. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, then what about pros? Like, what would you say the pros? Is? Obviously, I think you would say Gareth Bale, right? Yeah. Yeah, Gareth well, Bale, man. Gareth Bale. The, the team seems to depend on Gareth Bale for goals. Yeah. I think. Yeah, Gareth Bale is like one of those kind of players that he's really class um, for you know, international. You know, you look at his, um, you look at yeah. they made the um, Euro 2016 semis, I think. Uh, they lost the eventual winners in Portugal. And, um, yeah, it's just crazy, man. I feel like um, Gareth Bale, man, he's, like, that difference player. He's that player you can rely on for, like, free kicks, goals. You know, he was also really – remember, he was actually good in the Euros, um, even the last year, I think. I remember against Turkey, he was pretty good. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. I know Turkey were terrible, but still, I mean, that's impressive that you turn it. He, he's he's always turned up for Wales and the big games. That's always something you can um, rely upon him. So. Yeah, man, it's crazy, man. So I wish the best of luck to Wales and this World Cup. Hopefully, we can do like future collaborations, and definitely, um, maybe me and you can have a off camera chat, um, or maybe we can do this later. When the we, maybe when the game gets closer, we can discuss about the Wales USA game, and you know, maybe we can even do like a combined eleven yeah. later in the future. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah. Later. Yeah, but um, anyways, yeah. any final thoughts before you head off for today? Yeah, do you have any like final thoughts, like any anything to add, or that's pretty much it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. So yeah, thank you guys uh, for watching the video. Make sure you guys uh, comment down your thoughts. If there's any Wales players we forgot to mention, uh, subscribe if you're not you liked the video and did enjoy. Uh, comment down below with your expectations about Wales in this World Cup, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.